I think the, the vibe of the team is, is very similar. I think we have a strong defense. I think, um, you know, what he's able to do at this stage of his career, because I think uh, with Russ, I don't think they threw him into the mix as, as fast. Uh, but he's kind of been thrown in, and, and he's done a really good job. Okay, so that's Bobby Wagner, tenured vet, obviously future Hall of Famer. Jaden was lighting it up at practice. He was special. I was blown away by it, what he was showing out there. And, and that was before we saw him take the field in a preseason game. There was one comment, though, that stuck out to me. I asked Bobby if there were any sort of similarities between Jaden and this team and what he experienced with a rookie named Russell Wilson back in 2012 with the Seahawks. Uh, yeah, and here's what he had to say about that. Okay, we just did that. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, I guess we're, we're here in training camp still in, uh, during the show. Um, so what he's basically saying and what we saw and what's going on, like GM uh, Adam Peters, uh, obviously we sat with him. We didn't get him on camera. But he reshaped the roster. He has the foundation thing going. They, they get rid of Jahan Dawson, which I thought was sort of weird. But they're, they're making moves here to stockpile draft picks. Um, and there's obviously, like, a lot of connections everyone on Twitter is making to Brandon Ayuk and the Niners and whatever that could look like. There's the Washington-San Francisco thing. It also sort of makes sense. And that wouldn't be the only reunion either. B.A. played with Jaden Daniels at Arizona State before Jaden transferred to LSU. So I ultimately think, I think, I don't know, B.A. stays in the Bay. I'm going to follow like the Debo train of thought that he'll be on the team, that they'll make it happen. And that, you know, uh, hopefully Brandon Ayuk sees I can win here. He has the faith. I think it has a lot to do with the organization as quarterback, um, and they tie up the loose ends. But if, you know, if a team does swoop in last minute, I think we can all agree, given the connections, it's Washington. Okay, let's take a look. For Ayuka, no Ayuk. They're getting slept on. If you're a fan of FanDuel Sportsbook, and you are, Commanders currently have the fourth longest odds in the NFC to make the playoffs, plus, three tw plus 320. Uh, I'd be stunned. If they're not at least in the conversation for playoff spot uh, by, I don't know, winter, first snowfall, um, I don't know. By the way, you're definitely not getting odds that juicy if you trade for Ayuk um, and that happens. So if you like the commanders right now, I would maybe get in on that plus 310 action. Okay, we're going to take a break here. we got lots to get to. 